What's up, guys? Me, Chris, once again, here to give my predictions or, you know, whatever, preview for this weekend's Showtime Bantamweight Tournament uh, second round. Really looking forward to this event. You know, uh, boxing's been on a pretty strong run these last couple of weekends with the Morales Maidana fight, and of course, this past weekend's uh, Victor Ortiz Berto fight as well as Juan Ma versus Salido. So, hopefully, uh, this upcoming weekend will be more of the same. I expect it. I don't really see any way that these fights. Even if one somehow disappoints, which I don't see, there's no way they're both going to. So, really excited for this one. Um, I guess the first bout we'll talk about is the one I believe that they're going to air first, which is Victor Chanin against Johnny Perez. Vic coming off the loss to Abner Mares in the first round of the tournament. Mares got the better, a bit of a sloppy fight, a lot of holding in there, you know, some wrestling, a headbutt, you know, but um, not the most exciting fight, but Mares did what he needed to do to get the job done, regardless of Vic's complaints. As for Johnny, he had that rematch against Joseph Beck in the first round of the tournament. Didn't go at all like their first fight. Their first fight was a back and forth war, close fight. Um, this one, Nick Beko completely switched up his game plan, decided to box rather than brawl. Controlled the entire fight, except for the sixth round, I believe it was. He stood toe to toe with Johnny Perez, was very reminiscent of the first fight. Just the best round of the fight, toe to toe action. Johnny Perez's best round of the fight. Um, obviously, Joseph Beko realized that acknowledged it and said I'm just gonna go back to what was working for me for the first five rounds and uh he did and you know controlled the fight from there on out up to that point one round you know kind of gave away and then went back to doing what he was doing and was very successful with it since then Johnny Perez went back to his home country been training there you know want to get back to his family and stuff so um I think he may come in a little more reinvigorated for this fight mentally psychologically i don't know about physically just yet you know he's been in some serious wars johnny perez in his last few fights um the beko rematch the marez fight of course and the first fight with joseph beko so you know he's taken a lot of damage there um not like been really hurt or devastated or knocked down but just an accumulation of punches i mean he's there to get hit that's one thing for sure um so i hope that those fights haven't taken anything out of him if they have not, then I'm going to favor him in this bout. You know, I think he's the bigger, stronger fighter. I've always felt that Vic was better at 115 as opposed to 118, you know, ever since, uh, you know, the first fight or the, when he fought Joseph Beckett when he first moved up to 118. He's done a little better there um, as of recently, but I still think that uh, his best weight's at 115. Vic does have that power. He's had that power throughout, but I do not think it translates as well at 118 as it does as 115 pounds. Um, and like I said, I've never seen Johnny Perez really um, knocked out. I've seen him hurt here and there, but... I'm not for sure unless Vic, it's an accumulation of shots or just a one really good one, he's going to be able to take Johnny Perez out of there. Boxing-wise, style-wise, it's hard to see how this fight's going to play out. I envision it's going to be a slugfest. I don't see a two of a refined technical, uh, uh, you know, show or, uh, you know, fight going down in this one, which which is cool with me. You know, I love a good good slugfest or a good brawl, you know, between unorthodox fighters. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to favor Johnny Perez. Like I said, I think he's a bigger, stronger fighter. Um, Vic... The funny thing, Vic is uh, he's fought all every guy in this uh, in this uh, he'll have fought every other participant in this uh, tournament after this fight. I mean, a lot of these guys have already fought each other for the most part, but uh, Vic will have fought them all at this point. But um, yeah, I'm gonna favor Johnny Perez. Um, I don't know, Vic just didn't show me a whole lot in the fight against Mars. Not saying Mars and Perez are the same fighters at all, but um, I'm going with Perez to win this one by decision. But you know, it, it should be a competitive fight and probably a relatively close fight. As for the main event, Joseph Igbeko taking on Abner Mares. Um, for what it's worth, you know, uh, this is for uh, the IBF WBC Silver Belt. Um, I was fortunate to be able to have Abner Mares on the Science Finds uh, radio show yesterday. I was able to interview him and stuff, talk about this upcoming bout, and just some other stuff pertaining to his career, uh, past, present, and future. Um, you know, sounds like he's ready to go. I mean, obviously any fighter a week out or less than a week out of their fight is going to say that, but, uh, you know, he puts a lot of stuff on Twitter, training camp photos and videos and stuff, you know, so be able to kind of keep a keep a eye on how things are going with him leading into a fight and it looks like uh he's 100 percent headed into this one um it's coming off that win i already mentioned against victor chin and you know controlled the most of the fight you know gave vic problems like i said there was a headbutt not the most uh fan appealing fight but still a good win for vic or i mean for abner nonetheless probably the biggest win of his career at that point as for beko like i already mentioned had the rematch with johnny perez won it looked very much improved had a smart game plan the thing is, I don't know what Johnny or Joseph Beko to expect in this fight. I even asked Abner. I said, you know, which which John, uh, Joseph Beko do you expect? Do you expect the one that slugged it out with Johnny in the first fight, or do you expect the one that kind of 
switched it up in box and he said he doesn't really you know have a have any idea either but he said either way you know he's, he's fine with it um Abner Mares, it's a faster fighter younger fighter um obviously yeah, Beko is more testy he's more of a veteran common opponents they both fought Victor Tinian I would say they both looked about the same against him and they both fought Johnny Perez um both of their first fights you know Egbeko Perez one looked a lot like Mares Perez. Of course, Egbeko, as I said, mixed it up, changed things up in the second, in the rematch, and uh, did much better. I, I don't know, man. Um, I want to think Egbeko might want to box, but I think Mares might get the better of that, you know. So it may turn into he may say, you know, I might want to resort to a slugfest where I may feel I'm the more durable, um, stronger, sturdier fighter, just being a little bit older, you know. Uh, but we don't know if that's the case either, you know. Um, Abner really hasn't shown any weaknesses in getting in wars with Vic and uh, Perez, so this fight is seriously a toss-up, man. I mean, both these fights are, in my opinion, but this one is really one that I, I've been going back and forth on. Not so much as who I think is going to necessarily win, but just making a solid pick, you know, and having a, a definitive reason of why I think this guy's going to win. I'll say this. This is going to be a close fight. I don't see any way this fight's not close. I, I envision it's going to go all 12 rounds. Um... And I think it's going to be a close decision. I think it could be a split decision. It, it may even end up a draw. You never know. I mean, look at look at the way some of these guys' current uh, previous fights have gone out. You know, Mares Perez was a was a draw, and um, Egbeko Perez won. Was a really really close fight. So you never can tell. This could be a very close fight, a draw, or you know, even a controversial decision. Let's hope not. Fingers crossed. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Abner Mars at the end of the day. No, it's not just because I was fortunate to talk to him yesterday. Um, I just think he is a little bit more talented. I think he's a little bit technically sharper in this fight. But like I said, it's going to be a close fight. And I wouldn't be surprised if Egbeko, you know, was able to get a judge's scorecard. But um, it's just this fight can go a ton of different ways. And I know it's going to be a good fight no matter what. I don't see any way that this fight or this night, this event, um, disappoints. You know, the first uh, round was really solid. And I expect more of the same, if not a better, a night come this coming Saturday. That's it for now. Like I said, I did talk about this. Uh, we did break these fights down, as well as you know, recap this past weekend's Action on the State Science Bunch Radio Show. Um, of course, also got an interview, as I said, Abner Morris. So if you want to hear his thoughts on uh, the fight and just a bunch of other stuff I got to talk to him about regarding his life and career, you can go back and check that out. I'll put a link to the show on the pod or a link to the show in the information part of the video, as usual, as well as a link to my Twitter and also a link to scienceofvines.com, where I write a weekly uh, blog just about uh, my thoughts on the weekend results, you know, call it the good, the bad, and the ugly, and uh, I don't know, if you check it out, you'll see why. That's it for now. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on both these fights. Who you favor in both fights, Darchini versus Perez, and Agbeko versus Mars, and why, and, you know, who you think, um, you know, who you'd like to win, who you would like to see in the finals. I believe these, the winners of each fight's fight in the finals, or I don't know if Agbeko Mars is already the final or what. I don't know the exact logistics. I haven't really um, paid that much attention to. I just look forward to every time they're, these guys are scheduled to fight. So, um, yeah. Like I said, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the fights, which one you're looking forward to the most, and uh, who you think is going to win and why. That's it for now. Probably be back on the next Sunday afterwards to give my thoughts. But until then, I'm out.